Nick with SCI Wireless Solutions. Uh, today we want to demonstrate how to set up a repeater, specifically a Motorola Radius P1225 repeater with a tripod antenna. Don't be intimidated, it's very easy. Uh, here's what we're talking about. Uh, let's go ahead and go over our list to make sure we've got everything. We're going to need a repeater, the antenna, some tripod, a coaxial cable, some tools, a power strip with surge protection, and some Gorilla Tape or spikes to kind of hold the uh, antenna in place. We don't want it tipping over once we've got everything set up. Um, we're going to first set up the antenna. So um, the antenna, they come in varying lengths, anywhere from 3 to 6 feet, fiberglass. This is what a 3-footer looks like. But because it does come in longer lengths, and the higher you can set your antenna up, the better, please remember to look up. Make sure there are no power lines anywhere within reach. We don't want anything to happen to you. These labels are not just to scare you. Um, it's pretty dangerous. So if you're setting your antenna up and you're anywhere near power lines, please just move the tripod. It's much easier. Uh, Josh is going to go ahead and set up the antenna by splaying the legs and pressing down in the center of the tripod. It kind of locks it in place. Now would be a great time to secure the feet of the antenna, either using Gorilla Tape or spikes or sandbags or something like that. Feed the antenna down through the top and then bolt it into place by using your pliers and or a wrench. Um, you don't need to over tighten it, but uh, just tighten it enough so that it doesn't slip down all the way through the tripod. You can see uh, we want the metal part up top so you can tighten the screws. You don't have to tighten them too much, just enough. And once you're done there, you can connect one end of the coaxial cable to the bottom of the antenna. There's a wire that comes out of the antenna. Just go ahead and screw them in together. Once you're done tightening it up, slide that black cap down over the connection so that the weather does not get in. And then we're going to walk back to our repeater. We're going to feed the cable to the repeater. Take care. Make sure you don't leave too much slack in it. We don't want anybody tripping over it. And once we're back to the repeater, we're going to go ahead and connect the other end of the coaxial cable to the back of the repeater. And uh, we're going to actually connect it to this connection. should look familiar. It's, it's very similar to the one that we connected to the antenna. So just go ahead and screw it on there. And once you're... Uh, it, takes a couple of turns, but it's not difficult. Once it's nice and snug, we're ready to plug our repeater into our power supply. So just go ahead and um, get your plug ready. Plug it into your power supply. And once you plug it in, you're actually going to hear the repeater come to life. It's not on. It's just powering up. It's not on until you turn this knob on the very front of the repeater, like so. Once you do this, you're going to hear an audible beep. And voila, you have just doubled, if not tripled, your radio's capacity or distance for transmission. I told you that was easy. We have some bonus features for you here. Uh, you can actually use this repeater as a, as a base station. And you do that by taking this desk mic, and it looks just like this. And um, we plug the end of it. It looks like a phone connector right there, a little phone thing plugs right into the front of the repeater. Couldn't be any easier. So just go ahead and plug it in. Once you've plugged it in, you are now ready to communicate with people who have walkie-talkies. But first we want you to push the button on the left, the little speaker button. And what that does is that you listen to make sure nobody's talking. And if nobody's talking, you can go ahead and push the other button. The speaker's built into the repeater. If you have any other questions, please contact us at sales at sei-com, two M's, Com, or you can call us at 888-450-5558. Thanks. Have a great day.